Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to a new week of school lunches, work lunches, and home lunches. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Basically, it's every lunch I make throughout the week. So my son goes to school, um, and so I show you what I make him to take there to eat. Lucy, my daughter, stays at home with me, so I'll show you what she eats here. And then David goes to work, so I'll show you what he takes to work. That's my husband, if you're new. Um, so let's get started. Today is Monday, and if you follow me any length of time, you know that Monday, David is off. Um, so we usually go out to eat. We usually do something fun with my daughter. I'm not feeling that great today. Uh, so if we don't do that, I'll show you what they eat. But anyway, this is what... Lucy has, I mean, see, I told you don't feel good. This is what Nate has today uh, for school. So right here he has um, some mini pancakes cut up. This is kind of like a breakfasty lunch. So he's got some mini pancakes. I just heated them up, put a little butter on them. He doesn't like syrup or anything, so it's just the pancakes. He has some strawberries right here, some um, Trader Joe's, uh, like pirate's booty, basically. I know that's not very breakfasty, but... He, you know, whatever. And then he also has some of this um, organic vanilla whole milk yogurt. That is from Aldi right there. And then right here, he just has a few of these cinnamon school book cookies. I put like three in there. Um, so he has that. And then he has some milk to drink with it. I will definitely show you um, how much he eats of this. I will put, I'm going to close it up and put an ice pack right here in his lunchbox. So um, either next will be uh, David and Lucy's lunch, or you'll just see what Nate had, what Nate ate. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. So I thought I'd show you what Lucy has for lunch today. Um, I'm not feeling so well, so David got this together for her. So we have four dino nuggets. That's what she requested. We just did them in the air fryer. Um, a banana, some cucumbers, a, of course, her favorite thing. This one is the strawberry animals yogurt smoothie and then, then if she eats pretty good I got her a little dessert here so this is a little tiny package of chewy lemon heads and then she has a little starburst as well so that is what she's having for lunch I'll from definitely church. show you from church. from church oh yeah the the candy was from church so I'll definitely show you how much of this she eats okay guys Lucy did really well all she didn't eat was the banana she didn't eat half of it and it was a little overripe she pre prefers them more firm and you know under so then she was still hungry after this so um and this is gone too so I gave her a few veggie straws so she did really well uh, we'll see how Nate does when he gets home okay let's see how Nate did um on his lunch box there's still a good bit of the milk left he didn't drink hardly any of it Okay, looks like he did pretty good. He had all of his pancakes, and there were a lot. Looks like some of the yogurt is missing. It's hard to tell. Um, there's a good bit missing. Uh, most of the strawberries, some of the popcorn. He didn't eat any of his cookies, um, but that was really good. So I'm proud of him. We'll see you back on Tuesday. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Sorry for the noise level. It is very loud in here, but we're just going to... Do this lunch video real quick. Yeah. So um, this is what Nate and David have for lunch. So let's start with David. Um, I packed him a little bit extra snacks because he probably will want an afternoon snack. So this, I had some French, actually it's Italian bread in my freezer. So I pulled it out last night. And um, I took out a bunch of the inside part because it's just really thick if you don't. So this is just turkey, some Colby Jack cheese, and a little bit of Chipotle mayo. And then he has some of these Cheez-It grooves, and this is an original cheddar. This flavor is very hard to find, um, but they do have it at our Publix. And it's just plain Cheez-Its, but it's that same style, uh, chippy kind of crunchiness for the grooves that you get. Uh, so I got that. Then he has a 100-calorie snack pack of the chocolate chip cookies, an apple, a Diet Dr. Pepper with cherry, and then I thought for a snack, if he gets hungry, he can have this Elevation Protein Bar. This is from Aldi, and it is cookie dough. It has 15 grams of protein, so that's really great. So that's everything for David. Nate, he has leftover pizza. Now, this normally doesn't go very well, but I'm still trying. He had this last night. He ate every bit of, of his slice, so 
We'll see. There's 11 little bites of pizza, pepperoni pizza right here. So we'll see how many he eats. This is the Trader Joe's Pirate's Booty. Um, he had that yesterday as well, but anyway, he has it again. This is a blueberry cereal bar, and then he has some cheese it Grooves and a couple of the Golden Oreo Minis. There's two of those right there. And then, of course, he has milk. I've gotten a lot of comments. Yes, please. Oh, Lord. It is so loud, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments about how maybe I should give Nate something else besides milk. This is what works for Nate. Um... He does not, he gets other things uh, at home and stuff like that, but there's various reasons, and I'm not going to get into it with you guys on these videos because they're just supposed to be fun, but there's various reasons he only gets milk, and um, I've gotten some really actually mean comments about it, so, uh, and I wanted to just say also, um, these videos are just to show you what I feed my kids and my family. If you don't like any of this stuff, then you can do obviously whatever you want. This is not to show you what to do. It's just to give you maybe some ideas and to show you what we do. So anyway, this is what they have on Tuesday. We will see you back uh, in a little while and I'll show you what I'm making Lucy for lunch. Okay, you guys, it's time for Lucy's lunch. So we were out running errands and getting groceries and stuff right up until lunchtime. So I just took a little bit of help from Wendy's here, <laughs> real life, but we're adding some health to it. So I got our four count nuggets here, a small order of fries. Um, I cut up an apple. So she's got a pink lady apple, some cucumber, and then for dessert, one gummy worm. And she also has a cotton candy Danimals yogurt smoothie. So this is what she's having. I'll definitely show you how much she eats when she gets done. I love you. Okay guys, so Lucy ate everything. She had her chicken, her cucumbers, her apples, her french fries, her smoothie, and of course her gummy worm. So she did awesome. I ate it. You ate it. All right, we'll see you guys back when Nate gets home. Okay guys, Nate is home from school. His milk is just about gone. There's just a tiny bit left. So let's see how he did. Okay, so he had a cereal bar, he had his crackers, he had one cookie, uh, a few of the popcorn. I doubt he had any of these. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, he didn't have any of the pizza. So we failed again on that. <laughs> oh, this child is hard. Uh, he loves his pizza, just not at school. So that's okay. We're really just exposing him to different things, and he's working through it. And, you know, I used to get chicken sit home every single time I packed it, and now he eats it. So I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to pack it. And um, he had a great day behaviorally, and he's got all happy faces, so we're just celebrating that. And the food will come. So we will see you guys back for Wednesday tomorrow. Okay, everybody, happy Wednesday. Sorry for uh, SpongeBob blaring in the background, but that's just how we're rolling today. <laughs> so uh, I have Nate lunch and David's lunch. So let me show you David's lunch first because I need to keep get this wrapped in foil. So you know my trouble with getting Nate to eat quesadillas, but David will have no problem. Um, so I just did a quesadilla with turkey and cheese and a little bit of um, like a ranchero taco sauce on there just to add a little bit of flavor. So I'm just going to keep this in foil and then he can heat it up in the microwave at church. It'll be delicious. So he's got that and then he has a little bag of Doritos. A bunch of grapes, um, the sweet and salty cashew bar. We really like these. Um, we get these at Aldi for a very good price. And then for a little dessert, a moon pie. I figure he'll probably have this as a snack. I might throw in um, an apple too with this or an orange. We'll see. And then he has his Diet Daughter Pepper with Cherry. Nate is a very very classic lunch for him that he really enjoys. So I've got four chicken nuggets here cut up and he likes some of these little muffin cups. I don't know if it helps to keep it soggy or he just likes the way it looks. I don't know, but he does good eating them in this. Um, and then he has some of the Trader Joe's alphabet cookies, some strawberries, some ketchup to dip his chicken and some Aldi cheese crackers. Of course he has his milk as well. So this is what they have on Wednesday. I'll definitely show you how much Nate eats of this and I will show you Lucy coming up next. Okay, everybody, so it is 1120. This is what Lucy's having for lunch. I love making Lucy's lunch because it always looks so colorful, so healthy uh, for the most part, <laughs> minus a couple things, but, you know, in moderation, right? So 
she asked for bow tie pasta today so this is just some bow tie pasta that I cooked and then put some butter and Parmesan cheese on it's pretty hot so it's gonna cool off before she eats it um, and then I just cut up a cantaloupe so I gave her some of that she asked for carrots so there's some baby carrots right there um, some grapes some more yellow bell peppers and then she of course wanted another Danimal smoothie she has these about every single day at lunchtime and this is the cheerin cherry kind and for dessert she picked out a thing of smarties so after she eats her lunch she can have that so i will definitely show you how much of this she eats love you we love you <laughs> lucy are you going to eat all this all right she says yes and she also has some milk as well so we will see you guys back when no she water. gets in. oh you want water okay one in a cup Okay, we'll see you guys when she gets done. Okay, guys, she did really well. She had all of her bow ties, all of her cantaloupe, about half of her carrots, almost all of the bell pepper, all of the smoothie. The only thing she wasn't crazy about is grapes, and she's just not a big grape fan, which is a little strange. I don't know why, but anyway, she did really well. So hopefully Nate did just as well. We'll see that when he gets home in just a couple hours. Okay, everybody, sorry for the dryer noise in the background. I'm washing some clothes. But this is what Nate ate today. So the milk is just about gone. A teeny bit left. He drank most of it. And it looks like he did pretty good. Um, he ate some of his chicken. I would say about half of his chicken. That was really full. It's kind of like about that much. So he ate one cup's worth, which is not bad. He ate most of his cookies, all of his strawberries, and all of his crackers. So I think he did really well today. And he definitely ate some of his ketchup too. So I will consider that a win. Um, he also had a great day. Usually Wednesdays are behavioral issue days, but he got all happy faces today. So that's awesome. All right, we will see you back for Thursday tomorrow. All right, everybody, welcome to Thursday's lunch. I'm going to show you what I packed for David and for Nate. So let's start with Nate. <laughs> so I'm trying the quesadilla again. You guys know Nate has a hard time eating this quesadilla at school. And yes, I've tried every which way. I've tried it in a thermos. I've tried moving it around. I've tried it in the muffin cups. Without the muffin cups. Um, I've tried it in foil. He doesn't like it like that. So I'm going with what works and that work and how he eats his chicken is when it's in here in the muffin cups. So I feel like our best bet is to put it in here in the muffin cups, just like the chicken that he eats. Um, yes, it's not going to be hot, but this does not get soggy at all. Um, so, I don't know. There's 14 bites. It's just cheese, and I tried to make it really crispy, so hopefully it'll last a long time without getting soggy. But even when he even when he comes back home, this is not soggy. It's still good. Lucy, please turn that down. I'm sorry, you guys. Mornings are crazy. I, I, I'm sure you guys all can relate. Then I have... Lucy, please turn that down. Um, and then I have some strawberries, a blueberry cereal bar, just a few of the cheese it grooves. I mean, barely more than just maybe like five or six. Um, so those are delicious. That's just the original cheddar cheese it grooves. And then he has three butter cookies. So that is what he has for lunch with his milk. Now, David, I've really been trying to use up stuff around the house and not buy you know, the frozen meals and stuff. And it's been challenging because I'm out of all the pre-cooked stuff, really. But I found some chicken patties. I'm not going to open that because I'm hoping it'll uh, just stay nice and fresh. But I found some chicken patties, like a breaded chicken patty in the freezer. I put it in the air fryer. Then when it came out, I stuck it on a hamburger bun and put a piece of cheese on it. So he's having like a chicken sandwich. I'm not sure what he wants on it. I had this barbecue sauce, like a leftover one from McDonald's. So I went ahead and put that in or he can use some ketchup, but that's, that's his main thing for lunch. And then he also has some of the cheese at grooves, some cantaloupe. That's a really good one. I got these at Kroger, these honey roasted peanuts. He loves those. He has one of those. And then for snack or whatever, a chewy dip chocolate chip bar. And then of course he's going to take his Diet Dr. Pepper Boy Cherry and I'm going to fill up his thermos with water. So that is what they have for Thursday. We'll definitely show you Lucy's lunch coming up next. 
Okay, everybody, so it is time for Lucy to eat. She wanted pancakes today, so I show this like all the time, but these are our favorite pancakes. They're the Krusty's Protein. Um, let me show you the side. So I do give her the whole half cup, and it's 13 grams of protein. It is so good. You guys, if you like pancakes, you will never know these are extra protein because they taste just like regular fluffy pancakes. So what I do is I put the mix with some water in a bowl, put a little bit of vanilla in there, and then put it on the skillet, of course, and just cook it. While it's cooking, I sprinkle in some of these rainbow sprinkles, but just because, you know, they're for Lucy. And I usually do different shapes. So I'll cut them, just cut them up, or I'll do a cookie cutter. Today, I just did little hearts. I just cut these with scissors. <laughs> so uh, they're not perfect. But So I did a bunch of little hearts and then even some teeny tiny ones just trying to use up everything. So she's got a bunch of pancakes. I don't know if this will be too much for her or not. Usually she eats all of it. Then she has some cantaloupe and a banana. Um, and then just because it's Lucy, <laughs> normally I wouldn't serve breakfasty with veggies, but this girl loves veggies and she loves them any time of day with anything. So she has some cucumber and then just a few bell pepper we're finishing up. Two strips of yellow and an orange. And then for dessert, she wanted a gummy worm. So I'm cool with that. And of course she has her Danimal smoothie. This one is cheer and cherry again. So this is what she has for lunch, and we will definitely show you how much she eats. Okay, you guys, she did awesome. Every bite of her pancake, that was a ton. All but three little bites. Sorry for the dog barking. There's a, a lawn mower going out there. So all but three bites of cantaloupe. She had her banana. She had her smoothie. She had her veggies. That girl, I'm telling you, she it is my good eater. So that's all gone. So I'll see you guys when Nate gets home. Alrighty, people. Nate is home from school. I don't have high hopes for this, <laughs> but you never know. One day he's just going to start eating this stuff. This is mostly gone. There's probably that much left. So let's open this. It feels fairly light. Are we surprised at all by this? So he had his crackers. He had his cookies. He had all of his strawberries, which is really good. He had all of his cereal bar. Um, I doubt he had any of this. And everybody keeps saying, oh, the quesadillas. All right, we're going to do a little test. Hey, guys. <laughs> everybody keeps saying, okay, the quesadillas are too soggy. You can't tell by feeling them, but they must be too soggy. Well, he isn't tasting them, so he doesn't know if they're too soggy. <laughs> but just to prove that I don't think they're soggy, I'm going to taste one. No. This is four, almost four hours later than when he would have lunch. It's so fine. It's not like fresh. But I don't even think he knows what they taste like because he doesn't even taste them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What's the one I ate? He's not tasting them. I'm not going to let it get discouraged me though because like I've said, this is the exact same thing happened with the chicken for a year. He, he, not a lot of you watched back then. <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of you did. Um, but he sent, we, I, I sent chicken and he sent it home. I mean, it came home every single day. Um, very similar to this. <laughs> and then one day he started eating it. So I'm not going to send this all the time, but like once a week. It's something I know he likes, and uh, anyway, we'll keep trying, but for him to eat all those strawberries, that's great, all of this, so we're going to keep trying on the air stuff. I'll see you guys later, uh, tomorrow. Hey guys, okay, so this is actually Thursday night, but I'm going to go ahead and pack David's lunch because he may be leaving um, for a, a meeting before uh, before school with some of our teenagers, so just in case, I want to go ahead and have his lunch ready so that he can grab it as he goes out the door. So I just take it real simple here. Two peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Both of us hate jelly, so we have to use something else. And uh, it's usually either just peanut butter or peanut butter and honey. So I got two peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And then these um, cheddar and sour cream ruffles. A 100 calorie snack pack uh, cookies. These are from Aldi. Pink Lady Apple, and then of course his diet or pepper with cherry. So 
this is what he has and um, I'm just gonna wait till of course in the morning to make Nate so I have no idea what I'm gonna make <laughs> so we'll find out together so I'll see you guys back um, in just a second for Friday morning okay friends it is Friday we made it to Friday actually this week went by so fast um, so I just made Nate's lunch I haven't done one of these like snacky lunches in a while and he usually eats them pretty good. Um, this is just a bunch of snacks. <laughs> There's not really any protein, but you know, he doesn't hardly eat the protein I send anyway and he eats a ton of protein for, for dinner. So I'm not that worried about it. This is just a fun snacky lunch and I'm just going to let it be not stressed. So of course he has some milk that has protein <laughs> and then um, he has a applesauce pouch this is just one from Aldi and then on the side I put some of the Trader Joe's letter cookies just a few of those on the side there these are the cheese it grooves but I'll show you the box I don't know if I've showed you this week if you're new this is the ones he likes he likes he likes any of the flavors um, but this flavor is very hard to find I get it at Publix it's the only place just the original cheddar um, usually you can only find the white cheddar or the um, zesty ranch. So I got him some of those. I got a strawberry cut up there. Some of the white cheddar popcorn puffs from Trader Joe's. And then a blueberry cereal bar. So let's do a little experiment and see how good he eats today when we do the snacky lunch. Um, we will see you back uh, at Lucy's lunch. Sorry for Layla barking. Okay, you guys, I'm <laughs> coming to you from the car. Um, it took a little bit longer to do our errands today, so um, it's lunchtime, and we still have a 30-minute drive home, so I'm going to go ahead and just give Lucy a happy meal today. She's super excited. Uh, she got a little toy. I think it's the tiger again, Liz. And then some apples, uh, chicken nuggets, and a little teeny tiny fry. I mean, have you all seen the McDonald's size? Happy Meal Fry. <laughs> They're so little. Um, so that's what she has. I'm going to go ahead and let her eat it. She's drinking a water bottle right now, but I went ahead and got her uh, apple juice if she wants it. Um, she says she just wants water, though, so that's cool with me. This will all be gone. No worries. So we'll just see you guys back when, um, don't mind my messy car either. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> we'll see you guys when Nate gets home. Okay, guys. Nate is home. Hopefully this is successful. These, uh, uh, snacky lunches are usually pretty successful. Who wouldn't like a bunch of snacks? <laughs> uh, the milk is still a lot left in it. I would say probably he drank maybe half of what I gave him, which I only filled it to like there. So there's a good bit left. He didn't drink that much. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I never could open this with one hand. He did really well. So he had his applesauce, his cookies, his crackers, his cereal bar about half of the strawberry and a few of the popcorn so pretty much everything's gone um, like I said Mom, I know there was no white protein today. no he already ate them at least he always checks to see if he has any cookies um, I know he didn't have like any protein but he eats really good for me for dinner so I'm not trying to make excuses but it just is what it is Everything that I showed you guys in these videos, these Bentgo boxes, um, these are the best. I say this every video. These are the best. All the lid is like um, all suctioned. I don't even know if I'm saying this right, but it's all divided. And so when you close it and you lock it, it doesn't matter what's in here. You can shake it around. There can be like flat out like liquid it doesn't move. Um, I just think they're so awesome. Nate has eaten great out of these. And I think buying these and sending your kids, you know, with a little bit of variety. Um, and you could put like one new thing in here, you know, and if they're used to eating out of it, this is how I get, you know, Nate to try new things. <laughs> Although it doesn't always happen. Um, he loves this box and the days the days that he doesn't have this, um, like if I pack his regular thermos, he does not eat as good. So that's why I've kind of been sticking to this. Lucy wants her smoothie. Mm. <laughs> she didn't have enough at lunch. Mm. So uh, anyway, that is how he did. Um, I know somebody asked why I haven't been packing him macaroni and cheese, and it's just because I have to use the thermos for that. And he likes this so much. I've just been concentrating on this. So that is the lunches for today. 
for this week. We will be, we will be back on Monday to show you even more. Um, everything, I, I started to say this and I blanked out, everything <laughs> that I use, uh, the thermoses and all the things, uh, the muffin cups, all of that will be linked down below if you want to order some for yourself. Um, we love you. We thank you so much for watching these videos. They are seriously one of the highlights of my week. I'm very passionate about um, all the aspects of it and just making sure my kids have what they need for lunches and, and to show you guys maybe some some ideas that, okay, I'm just talking. I'm just talking and letting y'all see that. So, hi. <laughs> um, and just being able to show you guys some new ideas for, for lunches if you work outside the home or whatever. So, I, that's why I show you David's. And I've really been trying with him to not, don't mind my messy kitchen, to not buy pre-made meals like to not buy the link cuisines and all that but to use stuff we already have around the house and save as much money as we can and I think it's been better because he gets more variety and it's saving us money so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below please subscribe if you're new we will see you all next week